Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at Dunn's Mountain. A little chilly up here, but uh, Kasha's going to tell you all about Dunn's Mountain. We have also a lot of great information on today's show. And uh, if you're missing the contact information, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. That's right there. Today, CTW has come to see the beautiful scenery at Dunn's Mountain Nature and History Preserve in Salisbury. The property includes 83 acres of land protected under a conservation easement with the Land Trust of Central North Carolina and is maintained by Rowan County Parks Department. Visitors can walk the trail to see vibrant colors of the changing leaves and the spectacular view. You can see up to 150 miles in most directions. The view includes eight retired rock quarries, downtown Salisbury, and portions of the southwestern Piedmont. On some days, like today, you can even see the peak of Grandfather Mountain and Mount Mitchell, the tallest point east of the Mississippi. In addition to the walking trail, there are picnic areas as well as a blacksmith shop display. The wide gravel trail is less than a quarter mile that winds up the side of the mountain. On weekends, you can take a shuttle up during the park's operating hours. The shuttle runs as weather permits, so if it's raining, call ahead to see if it's operating that day. Admission to Dunn's Mountain Preserve is free. During the month of November, the park is open Fridays and Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sundays from 12.30 to 6 p.m. For more information on Dunn's Mountain Nature and History Preserve, visit rowancountync.gov or call 704-216-7800. Now kick off the 2019 holiday season with the City of Concord's 22nd annual tree lighting ceremony. The holiday countdown takes place on Friday, November the 22nd from 6 to 8.30 p.m. at Bicentennial Plaza in downtown Concord. It's always a lot of fun. Now, building up to the tree lighting, there's all kinds of holiday music fills the air on this special night that includes ice skating. Now that's kind of mm -hmm. new, right? Now, also children's amusements, got horse and carriage rides, and of course, a visit from Santa Claus in City Hall. Now, the grand finale tree lighting and fireworks show, that all begins at 8.30 p.m. For more information on Concord's annual tree lighting ceremony on Friday, November the 22nd from 6 to 8.30 p.m. in downtown Concord, visit concordnc.gov or just call 704-920-5215. After all the Friday night fun, make your way back to downtown Concord on Saturday the 23rd for the Santa Scramble 5K and the annual Christmas mm. Parade, which you'll be able to watch on Channel 22. Yeah. The 91st Annual Cannon Pharmacy Concord Christmas Parade begins at Church Street North and continues down Lake Concord Road at 2.30 p.m. Follow the parade route down two miles as it makes its way down Church Street, Buffalo Avenue, and Union Street to Corbin Avenue. Prior to the start of the parade, the Santa Scramble 5K will go along Parade Route and finish at McGee mm. Park. For more information on Concord's annual Christmas parade, November 23rd, 2.30 p.m., downtown Concord, visit CabarrasEvents.org or call 704-932-3808. Now, Kannapolis has hosted many tremendous events just in the past month. Now, they had the opening of the streetscape. They had the Kannapolis Cannon Baller celebration. Well, the fun continues this holiday season with the annual tree lighting ceremony saturday november the 23rd 6 to 9 p.m in village park enjoy live music kids activities and a stunning fireworks show of course mm -hmm. now food vendors and concessions will be available in the event that's rain or shine but there will be snow <laughs> i'm looking for that okay now <laughs> feels like it could snow today right now, now uh, this annual event also kicks off the winter wonderland express train rides Train runs through Village Park every evening from November 23rd through December the 30th. Take a ride and enjoy more of the 250,000 sparkling lights as you and your family make s'mores and, of course, memories, mm -hmm. right? Now, admission to the park and the viewing of the lights is free. Tickets to ride the train is only $2 per person, per ride. So, for more information about the annual tree lighting ceremony, November 23rd, 6 to 9 p.m. in Village Park, or the Winterland Express train rides, visit kannapolisnc.gov. Celebrate the holidays at the Town of Harrisburg's annual tree lighting ceremony, Friday, December 6, 6 to 9 p.m. at the New Veterans Park, mm. located at Harris Square off Highway 49 at the Public Shopping Center. Visit Santa and Mrs. Claus, take the family on a free horse and carriage ride, and enjoy on-stage performances and entertainment. Hot chocolate, cider, kettle mm. corn, crafts, and more are available for purchase from local vendors. 
for more information on the Town of Harrisburg's annual Christmas tree lighting December 6, 6 to 9 p.m. Harris Square, visit harrisburgnc.org or call 704-455-7275. Now the community is invited to join Cabarrus County employees in helping local families and individuals have a merry hour holiday. For the 15th year, Cabarrus Helping Hearts and Hands, or CH3, which is an employee-run charitable organization, is collaborating with the community to provide gifts for children, individuals and in group homes, senior citizens, veterans, and many others. Now much like an angel tree, the CH3 Wendy Ganey Memorial Christmas Tree contains gift tags, with gift list for children and also adults. So beginning on Friday, November the 22nd, you can select a, a gift tag from one of the several locations, the Cabarrus County Governmental Center, the Concord Senior Center, and the Concord, Kannapolis, Mount Pleasant, and Harrisburg branches of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Unwrapped presents are due back by December the 6th to the location where the gift tag was collected. So, so for more information on the program, Call 704-920-2568 or you can just visit CabarrasCounty.us. Opt out of the holiday shopping frenzy and opt in for a day of cool, peaceful fall weather <laughs> or winter weather yeah. with the free opt out hike November 29th, 10 to 11 a.m. at Camp Spencer Park. Rangers will guide hikers of all skill and ability levels through a mile long exploration of the park. Whether you're walking, being carried, or riding a stroller, this is a fun day that brings you closer to the signs of fall. To learn more or to register for the opt-out hike Friday, November 29th, 10 to 11 a.m. at Camp Spencer Park, call 704-920-3484 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash register. Now it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood at <laughs> Canapolis Branch of the Library. So let's go beyond zip-up cardigans and make believe and come celebrate all that we love about the inspiring Mr. Rogers. One of the Canapolis' library neighbors may stop by for a special visit on November the 23rd at 11 a.m. Now admission is free and all ages are welcome. So for more information about Mr. Rogers, won't you be my neighbor? Contact the Canapolis Branch of the library 704-920-1180 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash library. Now here's something we could use right now. <laughs> Warm up with a nice run through the town enjoying the Kannapolis YMCA for the Frostbite 5K and One Mile Fun Run Saturday, December 7th at 10 a.m. Registration fee is $25 for adults and $20 for youth ages 17 and younger. The One Mile Fun Run consists of... <laughs> Cost ten dollars. Register by <laughs> November sixteenth to receive a special T-shirt. All proceeds benefit the Cannon Memorial YMCA annual support campaign. For more information on the Frostbite 5K, a one-mile fun run, December seventh, 10 a.m. Canapolis YMCA. Visit runcanapolis.com. Call 704-939-9622. Just adding your little special effects on the yeah. cold, right? Well, you know, the hair in the mouth did wonders <laughs> my enunciation as well. <laughs> now, have you ever seen more than 4 million Christmas lights twinkling at night? Well, it took a ride through over three miles of illuminated Christmas displays and experience a spectacular Speedway Christmas light show. That's on November 22nd through January the 5th from 6 to 10 p.m. Visitors can take a ride on the Charlotte Motor Speedway Oval and visit the Christmas Village on the infield that includes a 100-foot slide. Well, that's pretty cool. Now, in a carousel and a 50-foot Ferris wheel. There's more family-friendly fun, including photos of Santa, food, games, and more. Now, admission is $25 per car on Thursdays and Sundays, $30 per car on Fridays and Saturdays. Express passes are an additional $20. Tickets can be purchased at the gate. So for more information on Speedway Christmas at the Charlotte Motor Speedway in Concord, November 22nd through January the 5th, 6 to 10 p.m., just call 1-800-455-3267 or you can visit charlottemotorspeedway.com slash events. Around Thanksgiving is always the busiest time of year to shop. Avoid Black Friday headache and go out for your Christmas shopping on Saturday, November 23rd for Small Business Saturday in downtown Concord. Visitors who make any purchase of any amount at participating businesses are entered to win a drawing to win $100 in downtown Concord oh, dollars to, see, to be spent like cash. <laughs> 
<laughs> For more information on Small Business Saturday in downtown Concord, Saturday, November 23rd, visit concorddowntown.com slash events or call 704-784-4208. Cabarrus County residents and park goers are invited to provide feedback on future enhancements to Dorton Park by participating in an interactive workshop on November 23rd from 9.30 to 11 a.m. Now, building upon a previous workshop held in April, attendees can see visual representations of where certain amenities are going to be planned within the park and learn more about the master planning process. Staff will be available to walk around the property with attendees to explain changes and receive feedback on the proposed enhancements. Now, if you can't make the workshop, keep updated with the process and provide your thoughts by visiting publicinput.com slash concord. So for more information on the Dorton Park Improvement Workshop, November 23rd from 9.30 to 11 a.m. at Dorton Park in Concord, just call 704-920-5641. Cabarrus County government offices, including the Government Center, Human Services Center, Animal Shelter, Landfill, and the Household Hazardous Waste Facility, will close on Thursday, November 28th and Friday, November 29th in observance of Thanksgiving. The Concord branch of the library will close early at 2 p.m. Saturday, November 23rd for the Concord Christmas Parade. All branches of the Cabarrus County Public Library close early Wednesday, November 27th at 5 p.m. and remain closed through Saturday, November 30th. The Mount Pleasant branch of the library will be open from 1 to 5 p.m. on Saturday, December 7th in preparation of the town's Christmas parade. The Cabarrus County Senior Centers will close Thursday, November 28th through Saturday, November 30th. The Cabarrus County Landfill, 4441 Irish Potato Road, opens Saturday, November 30th from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Camp Spencer Park, Franklis Park, Rob Wallace, and Vietnam Veterans Parks close on Thursday, November 27th and open on Friday, November 28th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Republic Services, curbside garbage and recyclable collections for residents and unincorporated parts of Cabarrus are on a one-day delay. And we want to thank everyone who took the time to come out to our Veterans Day program on Monday, November 11th. It was done in cooperation with the Boys and Girls Club, the Keystone Club there, and the City of Concord. It was a great event with yeah. hundreds of people. And we want to take a minute just to show you a few scenes from the event. And just one more time, we'd like to thank all veterans in Cabarrus County and all around for their service. Now, I know we've had a lot of information on today's show, so if you missed any of that contact information, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW, and it's right there. And we want you to sign up to the newsletter. Go to cabarruscounty.us, type newsletter in the search bar, and of course, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County. And if you have family or friends that don't have Spectrum Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, you just want to watch us when you get a chance, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash Capco TV. There That's you it. go. And when you get there, you can watch live stream the show 24-7 or watch shows on demand. And I always love coming up here to Dunn's Mountain because it is so beautiful. I mean, today is spectacular. It's, it's so clear. It's incredibly beautiful. Yes. You can see for miles and miles. Absolutely. And it's a great, nice trail with all kinds of good stuff. And it's only 30 minutes from Concord. Yeah. Great. Okay, until next time, you have a great one. Take care.